Okay, so welcome to the Airsoft Veteran YouTube page. This is, we're just starting up now uh, with gameplay videos and gear reviews, all that kind of nonsense. Um, but I was incited to do one this weekend because um, I took delivery off the uh, Novridge SSE uh, 18 electric pistol. No great surprises there. That's why you clicked on the link, I'm sure. So I was interested in this particular product because I have played with an electric pistol for the last, oh, I don't know, probably about 17 years that I've been playing Airsoft. And my very first pistol was, uh, uh, was an electric pistol. And I've tried gas pistols. Um, I, I'm not a Novrich uh, fanboy, that's for sure. Um, but so I was very interested when this came out. And interestingly, Chris in, in Novrich makes the point that he really likes an electric pistol as well, but it just doesn't look that great on camera. And he's, and he's quite right. So this is the box it comes in. It's a plain, you know, it's not plain cardboard box, it's a cardboard box with the logo on it. Um, I won't open it up because there's nothing in it just now, but um, that's what it comes in, that's fine. I've got no issue with that. Um, if you're after a product review, which this isn't really, this is just meandering thoughts about the SSE 18 and electric pistols in general. But I don't want to spend my money on an expensive packaging. Uh, I'd rather my money go on the product. Proving the adage that you can take the boy out of Scotland, but you can't take Scotland out of the boy. So uh, here's my uh, SSE 18. Actually, I think it, I think this is the case that the SSX 23 comes in. We'll do that. We'll do that Novrich thing where he opens it and it, this, the light shines out of it. So there you go. Um, it doesn't come in this case. I should say it just comes in that cardboard box that I was showing earlier. I'll take it out of the case because black on black on black is difficult to see. So there you go, uh, that's it there. Um, can't get any closer than that uh, with a zoom on this camera. Is that focusing? Yes, it is now. Um, so there it is, that's the SSX, uh, SSE 18 electric pistol. Um, first impressions out of the box, I'll take this little light off it, um, are it's okay. It's okay for the money. And I think it's, is it something like 95 euro? Delivery is nice and cheap, especially to here in the UK. It's absolutely fine. Arrived in the box, came after about five days. Great. It was missing this cross pin here, which holds all the internals in together. So clearly an issue with the quality control uh, when it's being assembled. Yeah, so that pin there, it'll focus in a second. There you go, just above the trigger, this one here. Um, so I've had to machine, so I'm a hobbyist engineer. I do a lot of custom machining. I've had to machine a little pin to go in there. Five minutes job for me. But if you were a customer that wasn't um, quite so technically minded, that would be disappointing because you really want to pick up, especially something at this price point, you really do. Lots of people will just want to pick it up and use it as well they should. Um, my first impressions are it's a nice looking thing, isn't it? And it's and it's slim. That's the first thing that struck me from a, for an electric uh, pistol for an AEP of which I've used many. It's slim. It is actually the dimensions and and they make a lot of this of a Glock 17, 19, or an 18, which is a nine millimeter pistol, um, which is quite narrow, uh, which this is, um, and it's I think it's probably one of the narrowest. AEPs I've seen and the way they've done that is that they've integrated the whole lower frame uh, into into the grips usually on an AEP the grips come off and hide these pins here which you can see reflecting and these hold the gearbox in these three pins here in the grip one two three and then there's another cross pin here which you saw and you have to punch them through to remove the gearbox assembly as I say that's usually uh, held underneath the, the grips themselves. Um, but on this unit, they're, they're integrated, and that's clearly how that's one of the ways that it's been made to, so thin. Metal slide, which is quite nice, difficult to find um, for an AEP, um, especially a Marui one, uh, which are particularly well made, it has to be said, but they do come with plastic slides because they are made in JA Pan. And of course, no metal airsoft products in JA Pan. Uh, unfortunately. So nice looking, slim. The plastic, I noticed this on the SSX 23 as well, a little bit scratchy. So over here, 
we've got my highly customized Marui, Toki Marui, USP, which I've had for, my goodness, <clears throat> 15 years, maybe, maybe a bit, even a bit more. Shooter's design metal side. I'll do it, maybe do, if there's an interest, I'll maybe do, a, maybe do a review on this. But my point was that the plastics <clears throat> on the Marui are much nicer. They're less scratchy, less plasticky, uh, which is a ridiculous thing to say, isn't it? Because they're, they're all plastic. But they feel a higher quality. They're thicker. I suspect they're glass reinforced. I guess this, I, I suspect this is glass reinforced nylon fiber. And this is probably a, something like a, something like a PVC. It's not PVC, but something like that. It's, I don't, I certainly don't think it's nylon um, or uh, polycarbonate, certainly not polycarbonate. But that gives it <clears throat> slightly less quality feel. And this stippling effect um, that they've put on, of course, which uh, you know, the, the, the real steel Glock enthusiasts love a bit of stippling on a Glock, don't they? Is actually a bit redundant because it's, it's quite slippy on, in, in your hands, uh, regardless of, of the stippling. Nice rail though. Uh, it does fit in a, it does fit in a Glock 1719 holster, um, which is, which is great. It's all you could ask for. Uh, the metal slide is, um, you, you, you press this as, as with all the AEPs, there's usually a catch on the back and you in some way manipulate the catch and that allows the slide to come off accessing the internal and the battery compartment. And then the metal slide comes off. It's okay, it's clearly been cast and then machined if, if you're into your engineering. Let's give the camera a second to catch up. Come on camera. Um, with its, and it's got a threaded adapter on it. You put your, I don't know why I'm taking this off, it's not particularly interesting watching somebody unscrew something, is it? Uh, but it's a 14 millimeter counterclockwise, so you can put your ridiculous suppressor on there. I'm not entirely convinced that putting one on um, a 200 FPS uh, airsoft pistol is going to dramatically reduce the sound despite um, Novorich's um, assertions. But it does mean you could put a tracer unit on, which would be quite fun um, for a night game. The point is you've got the option and why wouldn't you? Nice fiber optic sight. It does say that it is actually genuine fiber optic, so uh, that's nice. You know, you certainly wouldn't knock that. And then plain sights at the back, which is interesting. I've not seen that before. I know that's very much a Vogue, something that's in Vogue. And uh, they've got these little checkers on them to stop them reflecting. Like, I mean, it's all nonsense, isn't it? But, uh, you know, you wouldn't knock it. The only thing about the metal in the slide is very thin, especially when I compare it to my Shooter's Design slide. You can see the difference there in, in the quality. Um, you know, this, this was a premium product, though I paid a lot of money to have this imported from JA Pan. Um, so, you know, money does talk, doesn't it? Um, so that's, you know, that, that's my, that's my Marui AAP as, as, a, as a comparison. But again, you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't necessarily knock it, would you? It's, uh, it's got a metal slide um, and that's fine. It doesn't mean though, because it's relatively thin, the weight of the, the weight of it feels quite toy-like. I know it's a toy, by the way. Um, so once you take the slide off, you get access to the battery compartment. Interestingly, on the Marui ones as standard, there's a little slot that the that a nickel metal hydro. I think they still sell them in nickel metal hydride batteries, even 2021. The Marui ones just slots in there. With this one, you get a 7.4 volt lipo which is, you know, in 2021 is about the minimum you would want to run. It's a dinky little thing, 500, it's rated at 550 milliamp hours. It slots in as they all do under the barrel. I should say there is a, there is a plastic shroud that goes over this for aesthetics. It mimics the ported Glock 18 barrel. It's a load of nonsense, so I took it off just to give me an extra millimeter of space. And then this Micro Deans connector, which I must admit I have found a right pain to try and connect. There we go. Good, because I was doing it on camera there. And then that all tucks under there. You are quite tight for space as you are in all AEPs. And you tuck it all away and then you pop your slide back on and then that's it ready to fire. That's your fire selector. So that's semi full auto. Nice big chunky uh, mag release, which is good. You don't have to change your grip as you're activating that, which you do on something like the USP, which has got its classic um, H and K paddle release there. I must, I flip it like that, 
use my thumb, pop the mag out. Uh, with this, you don't need to do that, but that's evolution, isn't it, of, of um, ergonomics, human factors in uh, <coughs> small arms. So there you go. Um, so very good, very good fun. Um, uh, I've never shot a real life um, G. 18C, nobody has, they're like unicorns, everyone's heard of them, nobody's ever seen one. Um, but I have shot the 19, um, and I can tell you this is significantly lighter than the 19. So, um, how is it, how does it use? Well, I, I did, I'll put up some footage, I did a, I did a little shooting test. Um, it's anemic, but that's not a criticism of this product in particular. It's a criticism of all... Um, Automatic electric pistols out of the box, they only fire about 220, 200, 200, 220 FPS on a 0.2. Um, so, yeah, they're not, they're, they're not particularly impressive. The Marui, the Marui hop units um, are outstanding, and that makes up for quite a lot of the deficit in power. Saying that, this has this one has a thousand milliamp 11.1 volt battery in it. It's got an Eagle Six M80 spring, um, and I've changed out a lot of the internal components. Mainly, the, the big one is changing the nylon bushings for bearings. I understand that this already has that, but if you do all that to this, it actually becomes really snappy. And when I first did those modifications, this one, the, the, the Marui USP, was, was touching 300 FPS on a 0.2, which is incredible for, a, incredible for an electric uh, pistol. Um, but out of the box, this was, again, pretty anemic, a bit like this one. So what do we mean by that? I mean, if I fire this, you can hear the gear train running. When it's loaded and it's it's got BBs in it, it doesn't it's not quite as bad as it sounds on the bench. Um, it's not quite as noticeable, but it's still a bit underwhelming, isn't it? Um, hands, look away, hand. Um, it's just yeah, it's okay. Compare it to this. It's okay. So I think when you've clicked on this video, what you've wanted to know is, should you get a Marui uh, SSE 18? And my answer to that is, yes, you should. I think it's very good value. If you want an electric pistol, and it does work, it's just a bit underwhelming. So what is going to happen to this, straight out of the box, or you know, before I've even kind of played a game with it, is it's going to get um, an Eagle 6 M80 spring put in it. Now, if you put that in with a 7.4 volt 550 milliamp battery, it's still going to be underwhelming because you've increased the power, you've increased the resistance of compressing that spring, which is quite a chunky spring in fairness, but you haven't actually increased the power in here. So, that this is going to get uh, an 11.1 .1 volt uh, LiPo battery put in it. Now the only one that I could find, and this comes back to why did I choose the USP when I bought my first electric pistol, the reason I chose the USP was because it's big and it means that there's a lot of space in underneath the slide to put batteries in and to make modifications. So this has actually got a MOSFET in it, as does this in fairness. So it's got a MOSFET and a thousand milliamp LiPo battery. I mean I know people that run AEGs on, on thousand milliamp uh, lipos and that's in my pistol in this one so i said i liked the fact it was slim and relatively compact the downside is there's not much space to put a battery in here so this 350 milliamp hour battery here is is actually pretty close in size to the one that comes with it but you are losing some capacity now i think 350 milliamp hours would be perfect for half a day and i bought these as a pack of two and they weren't particularly expensive off the amazons so that's um that's going to replace the standard um 7.4 i am tempted to charge this up and, and try it before i make any modifications to see uh, how it runs. It, the issue is it may strip a gear if you do that because it's running a lot faster than it would do once this is in. So I wouldn't stretch that. The other thing I'm going to do is to put this upgraded motor in because I had this in stock. This was left over from 
um, a previous previous USP project because I've got uh, I've got two I've actually got two of these um, and I like them very much. So this was left over from that, and this this I'm this I'm almost certain will be uh, a superior motor to the one that's in here. I will inspect that. And provided, of course, it is a 370 motor, but generally the AEPs are all built around 370 motors. Uh, Marui, of course, building the first AEPs, and then lots of clones coming along subsequently. Sima, Sima, being the being the biggest. And I suspect, and I might be wrong about this, and, and I'd be interested to know from somebody who knows the supply chain the airsoft supply chain better than I do if this is a if this is built by SEMA it has that kind of feel to it I have to say so the question you're asking is would you buy one would I recommend that you bought one um, for the price point yeah I think they're good fun and I think for most people they make a good they make a good backup or a good secondary um, I wouldn't use one without upgrading it, without giving it a little more sparkle, because it's just a bit flat and a bit anemic out the box. And I say, as I say, that's not a criticism of this unit particularly. It's just, that's what AEPs are like out the box. And I disagree with, you know, Novridge makes a lot about, you know, I upgraded my pistol and I didn't, didn't get on well with it or it didn't show a huge performance upgrade. I, I don't agree with that. Uh, it's a lot of work though. And it, they're much more fiddly and it's much more specialist. And the first time I played around with this, I, I, the first time I played around with this USP, I stripped the pinion gear on it. Where on earth can you find a pinion gear for, for an AEP? Uh, you know, it really was like like finding a needle in a haste. It was like unicorn, unicorn mains. Uh, the answer to the question, by the way, is you'll find it in the slot car racing world because as with a lot of AEG and AEP components, they exist in other things. And indeed, a lot of this, a lot of the stuff in here is from, um, um, from slot car racing, if you're interested. So that's where I got a new pinion gear. Drop something in the comments about whether you want to see me actually do the tear down of this and on this bench here, actually strip it down, or whether you just want to see the end result once I've done the upgrades. I, must, I have to say, it's not particularly interesting watching somebody strip one of these down. It's very fiddly, very precise. And that's it. So come back. We'll hopefully be doing some more videos now. Lockdown's ending. We'll maybe get some uh, gameplay videos out as well and uh, do all that other stuff that you're meant to do on YouTube. I think you're meant to press some buttons down, down, down below.